Great. All right. Thank you for your patience, everyone. It takes a little while to admit everybody into the room. And we're ready. We're welcome back to day two of JROS 2020. Um, uh, yesterday was amazing. And uh, we have an amazing lineup for today as well. Um, so first, in the spirit of inclusivity, uh, we wanted to acknowledge that this conference, while virtual, is uh, starting situated upon the traditional, ancestral, and unceded lands of the Awaswas people. Uh, we pay respect to the elders, both past and present, as well as future generations. This acknowledgement demonstrates our commitment to, to working to dismantle the systems of oppression that have displaced indigenous peoples and the ongoing legacy of settler colonialism. A little bit of housekeeping. Um, your Zoom name should reflect your first and last name um, with project affiliation, whatever short version you can fill in there. Please free, feel free to use the Zoom chat as well as the uh, Slack channels for, this, for the sessions that are coming up today and tomorrow. Uh, reminders will be posted in Zoom about the timekeeping to make sure we all stay on track. The sessions are being recorded um, and any questions, feel free to ask on Twitter, JROS2020 help desk. Um, and then of course there is a Slack channel. Um, we're committed to creating a safe and inclusive space for all attendees. So there's an event safety team, Vanessa, Danielle and Caitlin are on that team and they can be reached in the Slack channel uh, at code of conduct. So please use that as, as needed. And we'll be recording the meetings and these breakout sessions. So uh, the recordings will be made available on the IOI website in January. If you have any questions, let us know. Um, I'm one of the event organizers, Caitlin and Vanessa are really running the show. And, uh, and as I mentioned, there's Twitter and Slack to reach out to. Okay. So um, we have an amazing day lined up for us today. And um, uh, the first session starting now is uh, these breakout sessions. There are three of them and they are, you get to choose. So you're gonna have to make up your mind. If you have not already made up your mind and you just showed up to see what's on today, now you have to choose. So we're gonna talk a little bit about each one quickly. And then you're gonna select one and you're gonna go into that breakout room and you can't come back, so choose carefully. First up, we have um, On the Cusp, Managing the Transition from Research Project to Open Infrastructure with Koki, that's K-O-C-O-K-I, as a case study. Um, Koki stands for the Curtain Open Knowledge Initiative and it's a project focused on shifting underlying assumptions about research evaluation and putting knowledge institutions like universities, et cetera, in control of their own destiny. So Catherine Skinner from Educopia uh, will be interviewing Cameron Nalen, who's the co-lead of the Koki Project. Um, and I'm sure that it will be an incredibly lively interview. Catherine, if you know Catherine, and I do know Catherine, will keep Cameron on his toes. So I think that I highly recommend this session. And believe me, I have serious FOMO about each of the other two sessions that I won't be able to attend because I'm moderating one. Second session um, is partnering with publishers and uh, that's Ian and he is uh, looking for one of the best ways for open infrastructure to find adoption is through partnerships and for many open science tools, scholarly publishers are a good place to look. So this is a mixed panel of publishers and tool providers, open and non-open source. So lots of room for debate there. And they will candidly discuss challenges and benefits they've experienced in collaborating um, to advance open research. Um, so this will provide insights for other publishers as well as other tool providers in how to seek collaborations and make them successful. And then finally, I will be moderating the Funders Funding Infrastructure Project, um, which is funding for open infrastructure, which has been scarce a little this year. And I think we can all agree 2020 has not been um, the easiest of years in many ways. Infrastructure funding has, sort of historically been harder to come by um, than other kinds of funding directly, for example, for research or scholarship or things like that. So we'll be approaching, uh, we'll be exploring the approaches and goals um, for the different ways to support open infrastructure and hearing from funders about how this is evolving for them. So without further ado, um, I would suggest that we, um, oh, I forgot to introduce myself. 
My name's Kristen Bertan. I'm the founder of Stratos, which is short for Strategies for Open Science. So as I mentioned, I'll be moderating that session. And I just realized I have to change my name to reflect Stratos as well as my first name, last name per my own instructions. So we'll do. Um, I look forward to seeing some of you in the session I'm moderating. Other ones go off, have a great time in your sessions. And if you miss one that you're afraid of missing like I am, you'll be able to see the Rose recordings in January. So no FOMO. And thank you very much.